How yep. many times do you, do you use the same bath water for a month? Why? Well, of course I don't. <laughs> Good <analogy>. Same thing. <laughs> 50%, over 50% of illness is directly attributed to indoor air quality, and that's documented research. In your home? Yes. My, my simplistic analogy to people is, you know, forced air can be your worst nightmare or it can be your best friend, depending on how you treat your forced air system. sealed in the basement so you're not stuck in the basement. If you have great filtration, if you use add-ons on your furnace to kill bacteria, virus, and mold, it could be a wonderful system. You mm -hmm. could be scrubbing that air 24-7. That's interesting. Uh, when you said when you seal the cold air returns in the basement, right. how many basements have cold air returns that are sealed? <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know, you know, I, 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 one of my favorite ways of testing, and I don't want to take business away from the blower door, okay, is, is I'll, I'll turn on the furnace, and I'll close the door to the basement, and I'll just get a little piece of toilet paper, and I'll go behind the door to the basement and put it on the bottom, and if you've got negative pressure, by the way, negative pressure is what you said, cold air returns that aren't sealed right. suck the basement, right. the toilet paper sucks down in the basement. Right. That means your basement sucks. Right. That's not a good thing. Right. The furnace blows and your basement sucks. sucks. Right. <laughs> so if your basement sucks, then 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 that then the radon people like that, right? right. Because if For your basement sure. sucks, the radon gets sucked into the basement. They get to put in their systems, right? Oh, listen. By the way, this is a great question. I just had a client of mine call and he's trying to sell his eight hundred thousand dollar house. They uh, a radon tester went there and tested two or three different areas. And the average was four. But one spot showed 4.3. Which is above the American standard. Right. Right. 4.0 is the radon right. level. Anything over it's supposed to be right. bad. And Unless, of course, you live in Canada. It's 20. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but in Sweden, it's one. Go figure. Wow. Yeah, Sweden's one. Canada's 20. We're four. Kind of like all across the board. I, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. So the average is four. But one spot said 4.2. Are there any corrections that he can make in his pressurization of the basement to instead of putting in a, a $1,200 radon system? You know, I, I think what you, if your basement, as we said, said earlier sucks because your cold air returns aren't taped and sealed at the mm -hmm. joints then the opposite would be if it blows well how do you make it blow well i guess we could seal our cold air returns and open a few registers heat registers in the basement so it's blowing air so that right. toilet paper doesn't get sucked in the basement it either stands still or it gets right. sucked into the room well if your basement has positive pressure there's no possible way you can have radon Because it's blowing in your basement, so you can't be sucking. You won't have a radon problem. Unless you have a sub pump. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have a sub pump, you know, what, what right. do you tell your so clients with you sub seal pumps? The sub pump. 100%, right? right? Because if the sub pump is open, and don't waterproofers put sub pumps in all the time? Oh, yeah. And what do they do with them? They leave them, those, those big holes. Well, the, I mean, the, the interior water diversion guys who say they waterproof but they don't. They the interior waterproof, waterproof their systems. Right. And of course they put sub pumps in. Wide open. Oh, and the next great trick is everybody's supposed to have a dehumidifier in their basement in the summertime in places like Ohio and Michigan because of the high humidity and the Miami-like conditions. Well, they put these dehumidifiers right next to the open sun pump. <laughs> and of course, I don't all the time. Wait, 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 wait. So, so and, 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 and in the building science world, my world, if you have a lot of humidity, that means more grains of moisture in the air. Right. And in the engineering world, it's called high vapor pressure. Right. 
And when you don't have a lot of moisture, you have low vapor pressure, and high vapor pressure goes to low vapor pressure. So if you have a sub pump that isn't sealed, that pipe that goes all around the house, all 150 feet of it with right. all the holes and all the mud, right. has high humidity, right. has high vapor pressure, it becomes a humidifier. I got a question, Tom. When you do a home <coughs> and you do your blower door, do you seal a sub pump before you do the blower door, or do you add that into the heat? Because if you suck the house out, remember, when you do the blower door, you, you I know you said you seal the, any holes to the outside, right, fans, fireplaces. What about the sub pump? Do you, do you cover that up too? or I don't seal anything. I do it as is. This is the real world. There's nothing sealed. And uh, this, these are your uh, leakage pumps. So the air, so the sub pump could be a leakage point, theoretically. Well, it is. Uh, not necessarily outdoor air, but uh, uh, underground air. air. Yeah, which is probably not that good, right? Maybe worse. You know, I I don't know. Well, it's just radon, moisture, well, mold. <laughs> Can't why be do good. we? It's a good question. I why do we seal? I mean, you remember the day. Fifteen years ago, I'm calling you, Tom. What do we do about crawl spaces? <laughs> what do we do about Michigan basements? These How are crawl trick- spaces that have vents in them, or Michigan basements, classic Michigan basement, dirt floor. That's not good. And vents on the outside of the perimeter walls, right? Vented crawl space. Vented crawl spaces with dirt floors. Oh. And then we got a high efficiency forced air furnace, either in the crawl space or right above it. And if it has return duct leakage, then we're sucking air from the backyard. <laughs> or right? worse. Or from the ground. Right. And now we seal them all up and we put a radon blanket, double sided, on the floor, on the ground. Vinyl on the floor. And we hopefully we, we, we try to f- get them to go for the foaming and, and the perimeter co- walls. On the perimeter walls. And that's another question I wanted to ask you. I was told that the greatest heat loss really in your house is right up on your rim joists mm-hmm. and the cavities. And if you foam those rim joists, um, you'll you'll dramatically reduce your. Two ways. One is you knock the major infiltration points, which are those sill boxes. And, right. uh, of course, you insulate it to stop that heat loss. That might cause stop a muscle. Sill boxes? Are sill boxes, you're talking about where, where the joists go into the outside walls and you have the the the, the, uh, the band joist? Yep. That little That's, pocket is a sill box that 14 or a joist pocket. Space. You want to insulate that. Mm-hmm. And I would think that you'd want to insulate that anyways because the thermal bridging condition, because the out, there's no insulation there and it's cold, and if there's humidity in the crawl space, which in in a vented crawl space with a dirt floor, you're going to get that. You can actually form a dew point, and don't you get mold at those places? You sure do. But today it's different. Right now, it's we don't want we, we, we want sorry we want to we want to condition a crawl space. And you said the vapor barrier, which you call the radon blanket, hundred percent right. sealed. Right. And and then you want to just put perimeter insulation, right, like styrofoam or the foam. Mm-hmm. Right. And and then you don't you need to heat it, cool it, and dehumidify it too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. Very important. You you make sure that you cut the hole in the vent to, to put heat put a heat in source there. in there, and you dehumidify it uh, with a good crawl space dehumidifier. Uh, 